Peggy Kirk Bell, what a great lady she was. It's really this place here, Pine Needles, this was her home, and that's really kind of the way she treated it. The Cosgroves were leasing mid pines at the time. Peg would come down and uh, play golf here, and love the area, and so Mr. and Mrs. Bell with Julius Boris and the Cosgrove family uh, bought Pine Needles. They bought it for $50,000. During the war, it basically you know, grew up in weeds. The army uh, basically came in and took over Pine Needles and Mid Pines. They operated really up uh, on what is now our 18th hole, it was originally the first hole, but there was uh, some army barracks that the, uh, the army had left. Kind of funny that what started out as a male place became known as a female place. Everybody is, is kind of part of her family, our whole staff here. Really, we don't call them employees, we call them associates because we're working with them as well. We've uh, blessed to have some people that have been with us a long, long time. Uh, as I said, uh, Dave Frickty, our superintendent, who's been with us, uh, uh, th you know, 30 years. You know, these are Im important people to our operations and they're important people to our family. I'm so proud of everything th that they've done uh, to make this place look like it is. And I wake up every morning excited uh, to come here. Kudos to the USGA for getting involved and, and letting the kids come out for free and making it a really cool experience. Uh, we do some things here at our, our property. Obviously, uh, we're involved with the first tee. Mrs. Bell with the golf schools, I mean, her being a pioneer, really starting the first ladies only golf hours, you know, back in the 60s. And now schools are a huge part. Golf hours are four nights in five days. Uh, you know, they come in, they have great instruction from our staff and we bring in a, a host of other instructors from around the country. They play, uh, they get instruction in the morning and then they go out and play golf. Really, the Golfari was a, a trademark name that Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Bell did to have fun while learning. I think uh, as it relates to the championships coming back, I give, uh, I give credit, full credit to Donald Ross and the golf course um, because uh, the USGA is about identifying champions and uh, we've been really fortunate to have uh, great champions here at Pine Needles.